Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and I've got a pickup video for you today, obviously, like always, but there's very awesome stuff here, and before I jump into it, I just wanted to say, um, in my last couple videos, I had mentioned um, doing a lot of jump cuts and trying to cut down the length of the videos, but it seems like 95% of you guys want to want me to keep longer videos, so I won't be doing the jump cuts, um, however, I'm... I still am only going to show you guys the stuff that I get from my collection, unless it's something really cool and worth showing, which I do have something in this video that I got to sell. I've already sold it, actually, but it's very awesome. I'm going to save that for last. So from now on, I'm mostly just going to be showing you guys the stuff that I get from my collection because I get so much, and it's a hassle to, to like keep stuff that I need to sell until I make a video showing it. So it's just going to be a lot easier for me and same amount of content for you guys basically so uh, let's jump into it first up I got a package from someone over Facebook um, he he watches my videos and wanted to donate a game to my collection and he didn't mention a YouTube channel I don't know if he does videos but um, he has a Facebook page called Tiger Town Games and you guys can check it out he he's selling games um, through that, through the Facebook page, so, you know, Tiger Town Games, I'll, there'll be a link in the description to the page, you can like the page, and he has pictures of everything, and prices, and all that, very cool, uh, his name's Chip, and he wrote me a little note here, it says, Cooper, thanks for everything that you do, I hope this small donation can benefit your collection, I threw in a couple little extras too, thanks, Chip, Tiger Town Games, so, thank you very much, Chip, I really appreciate it when anyone wants to give anything to me, you know, it's, people tell me that I inspire them to like make videos and collect and everything and every time someone tells me that it just feels amazing you know I, I got into collecting because of watching other people on YouTube and to think that I'm that person that's inspiring other people it just feels awesome and thank you so much Chip for the donation I really appreciate it and it's an like, awesome addition to my collection so first up I'll show you the extras that he threw in first he threw in this case for Wii Sports Resort um, in this like small packing version and I actually don't have one of these in my collection so I will be keeping this and once I come across a copy of the game I'll be putting that in there and keeping that the other extra he threw in is a case for Fatal Frame 2 for the Xbox just no disc and um, you know I did get rid of all my Xbox stuff um, but I still am buying Xbox games to sell so if I ever come across a disc got a case for that and then the game that he donated to, donated to my collection is a game I didn't have, and it's for the Super Nintendo. And it's in great condition, and that is Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. There it is. Box is in great shape. It is complete. Uh, the cartridge is still in there. I need to take it out, put it on the shelf. But, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't have this game, and it's very nice of you to donate this to my collection. I really appreciate it. So, you guys, definitely check out Tiger Town Games. Like I said, link in the description below. Thank you again, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, next up, just a couple small things um, that I got from Craigslist deals. Um, you know, I do a lot of Craigslist deals. Mostly just I get stuff to sell. But um, I got a couple things here that came from random deals that I'm keeping. First up is a PS2 network adapter startup disc, version 2.5. It's complete. I do have a couple uh, startup discs for the PS2, and I do collect PS2 stuff, if you guys didn't know for some reason, but, um, yeah, I'm keeping this, I don't know if I already have this one or not, but I haven't checked yet, I also got a network adapter, but it was just a loose one, and I already have my own with my boxed PS2 system, so, I'm selling off the adapter, keeping the disc, from a different Craigslist deal, I picked up a Game Boy Advance SP with a, with a few uh, Zelda games, and this was included, which... It's like a, a hacked Game Boy Advance game, basically, with like a custom case and all that. And um, he said that it has Minish Cap on it right now. And I just decided to keep it because, one, you can't sell games like this on eBay. It's against our policy. I could try and sell it off on Nintendo Age, but honestly, I don't think it'd be worth much because it's just like a hack game. But um, I thought it was kind of cool. And, you know, I'll just keep it in my collection. <coughs> From another Craigslist deal I did, 
um, for a bunch of Game Boy stuff. I got a copy of Baseball for the Game Boy. And I actually have, or had, the box and manual for it, and I didn't have the cartridge. So, got a complete copy of it now. Very cool. Put that back on the shelf. And then, from another Craigslist deal, I got two SPs and a bunch of games. This is a different one from the Zelda bundle. And um, I got a, a pearl blue Game Boy Advance here with a charger in great condition. And the reason I'm keeping this is because I actually found a box and manual for it on eBay that I bought. It was like 12 bucks, so that'll probably be shown in the next video. Um, but yeah, I, I bought the box and then I got this like the next day, so it kind of worked out perfect. Um, tons of stuff to show you guys. Um, I guess I'll show you guys these. I went to GameStop and... Um, you know, I, I rarely ever go there anymore because the only the only games that I would ever buy from there are Wii games. But, you know, I, I've i gone a couple times the past couple weeks, and I picked up a small stack of Wii games here. Always on the super cheap. Like, I haven't paid above, like, four bucks for a Wii game from GameStop in a long time. So, all these are from my collection. They're all complete. All games I didn't have. First up, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Ultimate Board Game Collection. That was 270. Worms, a Space Oddity. I think this one was like five bucks, but that was the only one above like four dollars. Classic British Motor Racing. Academy of Champions Soccer. Basically just filler titles. Boogie. That was like a like a dollar fifty. Uh, Blast Works. And the last one is Metroid Other M. This was like two dollars and seventy cents. Definitely a good pickup. I already had a sealed copy, but I didn't have an opened copy, so figured I'd get that. <clears throat> and then um, a couple things I got from Target here. First up is a Mario Kart Wii Connects bundle, and it's like basically like Legos if you aren't familiar with it. But um, it's a Mario Kart bundle here. You can see what it has up there, and um, they had a bunch of these, and they've been slowly moving off the shelves, but this one was actually marked on, uh, marked down for clearance, and usually they're like 30 to 40 bucks or something like that. This was marked down to $12, so I figured, you know, why not? It's pretty cool. It's still sealed. I'm not going to open it or anything, but um, for 12 bucks, I thought that was a great deal. And then something else from Target is this outdoor mega pack here, which has the hunt and the strike for the Wii, and it comes with a, like a shotgun controller holder thing and a fishing pole controller thing and um, this is still sealed I'm not going to open it and they had a couple of these on the clearance rack for 35 bucks and I didn't pick one up because I didn't want to spend that much and I waited like four days I went back they had two of them left and it was marked down to $12 or $15 I think like $14.99 so I thought that was a fair deal and I picked that up next up is something I got off eBay and uh, this is going to be hard to show because it's kind of big, but it is a Star Wars Episode One Racer uh, Nintendo 64 like display. I don't really know what to call it. It's really, th it's like, it's not like cardboard or anything. It's like thick material. Um, it's got two Velcro tabs on the back here. Um, so if I get some other Velcro, I could like attach it to the wall. The only place I actually have to put this is on the back of my door underneath my Sonic Generations poster. But um, I need to get some Velcro first because I don't want to, you know, tape it up or something. But um, I thought this was really cool. An awesome addition to my N64 collection. And this only cost me like 25 bucks, I think, with shipping, which I thought was pretty fair. And I think it's a really awesome piece. Um, I'll show you guys this. Now this is really cool. I did a Craigslist deal. Um, the Craigslist deal where I got the blue SP. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of games with it. And some of them were complete and some of them were sealed. So I got four four games here to add to my Game Boy collection. The, the only one that's not sealed is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And complete. Awesome condition. I've got it in a protector already. But um... Yeah, I didn't have this game, so very awesome to add, a, add that to the collection. And these last three are still factory sealed. 
Two of them are eh. One of them is an awesome game though. I'm really happy to have it sealed and it's in awesome condition. So the first one is Ed Ed Nettie Jawbreakers. Still sealed like I said, but there is a hole in the back if you can see that. And the other one is Mrs. Pac-Man Maze Madness and Pac-Man World. Like a two games in one kind of deal. It's got the big sticker on the front which I tried to get off but um, it's not worth it to me to risk ripping the seal on there but also sealed and the last one is I don't have this game anyway but to get a sealed copy is awesome and it's in great condition I'm thinking about getting it uh, VGA graded um, at some point I have a bunch of games I want to send in to get graded and this is gonna be one of them and that is Mario Party Advance factory sealed great condition it's got the H seam and everything. I don't know if you can see it right there. But uh, very awesome. Very happy to have that. And um, for the whole bundle, the two SPs and all the games that were cartridge only that I sold and then all those games there, I think I only paid like 100 bucks. And Mario Party Advance, a sealed copy is like 60 to $70 alone. So I thought that was a great deal. Um, I have three, three more things to show you, um, well, a lot more than three things, but it's too hard to explain. <laughs> First up, something off eBay. Um, this is one of the, the rare N64 games that I still needed for my collection, and um, someone, someone on Nintendo Age, Caban Cabanian, Cab Cabanan, <laughs> I don't know how to say the name, I'm very sorry. I don't know if you watch my videos, but um, he sent me a link to this on eBay UK. And it's an NTSC version of the game, which is awesome, because if this was posted on the North American eBay, it would have been sold really quick. And I'm very glad that I got it. And it is Battlezone Rise of the Black Dogs for the N64. Complete, really good condition. You know, the box isn't perfect, but, you know, it's not crushed or anything, so I'm very happy about that. Like I said, it is complete, and one of these sold for 300 bucks a while ago, and then a couple more surfaced up, and people were trying to sell them for 300, but they weren't selling. But I got this one for 69.99, and I thought that was an amazing deal. And like I said, this was one of the rare N64 games I still needed, um, and I actually went on eBay yesterday and the day before and bought like 30 to 40 more N64 games that I needed for my collection, so I'm down to needing only 31 games to have a complete N64 collection for North American games. Cartridges and boxes at least, I still need a bunch of manuals, but um, very very awesome. And uh, I still need Super Bowling, Stunt Racer, uh, Worms Armageddon, and Bomberman Second Attack. Those are the only like rare ones I still need, so very happy to have that. Awesome addition to the collection, awesome price. Next up, you guys remember in my like a video or two ago, I bought a bunch of stuff from LV Pepe 38 and I actually bought one more bundle from him after the first bundle of stuff and actually bought the rest of his PS1 stuff. So I've got a bunch of that to show you, show you guys here. I'm not going to show you all the games because some of them are filler titles. There's like some Twisted Metal games, some Tomb Raider games, but I pulled out all the good ones to show you and then he threw in some extras as well, which is very awesome. Um, some of the extras that he threw in that I'm not showing is an N64 box, um, like a like a wooden cartridge holder, um, a Wii power cord, and a bunch of memory cards for the PS1 and PS2. Um, some other extras he threw in are some strategy guides here, which um, I'll be keeping all but one of them. Um, the one that I don't plan on keeping is Oblivion. I don't have a 360. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and sell it, but you know, because I never really try and sell strategy guides, but it'll probably just sit on my shelf for a while. Um, but there's some really awesome ones in here. Some of them I do already have. Um, I guess I only have one of them. The one that I already have is Majora's Mask, the Nintendo Power one. But this is in much better condition than the one I have. The one I have is like, the whole cover is destroyed, so very awesome. The rest of these are really cool too. I'm excited to have these in my collection. We have Final Fantasy. Um, this is Final Fantasy 7 by Versus, I think. Yeah, Versus Books. Very awesome. Vagrant Story. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. The Nintendo Power one, 
which is very awesome. Final Fantasy 3, not by like a main company, by Peter Olofsson. Pretty cool. Etrian Odyssey, Forest of Eternity. Um, I don't know. I think this is an art book, actually, because it's not really a strategy guide. But um, very cool stuff. And then the last one is Parasite Eve, which is very awesome. I love that game. So, <clears throat> there's a couple more things he threw in before I get to the, uh, the PS1 games. And I really was not expecting these, and it's a great surprise because these are awesome additions to my collection. And I don't think I had... Uh, I have that one. Out of all these that he threw in, I only had one, which... Oddly enough, is one that I already showed in this video is a complete copy of Baseball. Unfortunately, mine is in better condition than this one, but um, you know there might be some extra little inserts or pamphlets that I didn't have in mind. But the rest of these I didn't have, and that and it's very awesome. Uh, these are all uh, Game Boy games. First is Double Dragon. We have R Type. Some of these feel empty. I haven't checked. You know, like this one, there's no cartridge in here, but you know I can always track down a copy. And we have Skater Die, Bad and Rad. Also, no cartridge in there. All Star Challenge 2, or NBA All Star Challenge 2. That one's in there. Mortal Kombat 2, that one's in there. The Amazing Spider Man, in really good condition. That one feels like it's in there. And also, Batman the Video Game, which is not in there. So very, very awesome. Those are, you know, box games are always awesome to get thrown in, like, as extras. Um, before I get into the PS1 stuff, I definitely need to mention his channel again. If you guys are not subscribed to him, please go check out his channel. There's obviously going to be a link in the description, and he's on my checkout channels list on my page. He's an awesome guy. I can't stress enough that you guys need to check him out. At least check him out. You know, I'm not saying go and subscribe. Subscribe if you like, of course, but at least check them out. And I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. So, <clears throat> like I said, I picked out a bunch of the PS1 games to show you guys. Not all of them, but like three big stacks here. So, first up, I'll show you the three long box games that were included. First is D. Street Fighter Alpha. And Loaded. And then there's one, I guess, like, homebrew game, and that is Puzzle Bobble 4. I don't know exactly what I'm, I'm going to do with this. I do like the Puzzle Bobble games and, like, the Bubble Bobble and Bust a Move type games. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, can't really sell it on eBay because it's, like, a homebrew bootleg kind of thing. But I'll see what I can do with it. I've never seen, like, a a homebrew or a bootleg PS1 game before. I've seen like burned games, but I've never seen, you know, something like that. Um, these, the PS1 games are not going to be in any particular order. There is one that I'm going to save for last just because it's in like a special box. But um, like I said, I picked out a lot of the good ones to show you guys. So let's just jump into it. First up is a sealed copy of Railroad Tycoon 2. Vagrant Story. Threads of Fate, X-Men Children of the Atom, Rhapsody a Musical Adventure, Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2, Silent Hill, and Saga Frontier, Parasite Eve, Guilty Gear that has a custom uh, back and front so we just had the disc and then printed out the other stuff for it Magic the Gathering Battle Mage Wild Arms 1 and 2 Intelligent Cube Beyond the Beyond which is a weird ass name for a video game. Alundra 2, A New Legend Begins. 
Chrono Cross, Breath of Fire 3, which has a custom printed cover, but the back is original, uh, Diablo, this one's pretty cool, Clock Tower, I've actually never had a copy of this game, very cool, uh, Final Fantasy 8, this is like 100% complete. It's got the walkthrough and the manual, all the discs. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Anthology. Final Fantasy Origins. Fear Effect. Two copies of Final Fantasy VII which obviously is very awesome. The Legend of Dragoon. And the last one is Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. And um, this has a hang tab on the back. Um, I haven't even opened this to see if it's all in there. So let's check it out. Obviously it's got the outer box. It's got the manual. Very cool. And then the game, which still has the cloth map here in the baggie, soundtrack disc, and all three game discs, which are like in perfect condition. Very, very awesome. Put that map back in there. So, yeah, like I said, there were some other PS1 games. Uh, I got them in this box here. Tomb Raider, Street Fighter, Star Wars, Oddworld, Metal Gear Solid, Twisted Metal, Tomb Raider, Blade, uh, The Crow, Fox Hunt, Front Mission 3, G Police, Xena, Soul Blade, Tekken, Tenchu. Just a bunch of stuff, just more common stuff. Um, so thank you, LB Pepe38 or Hacker727. Definitely check out his channel. Link in the description below. And the last thing I have to show you guys is the most expensive game that I've ever had in my possession. And the story to go along with this is a little bit sad and it's a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and tell you guys if you don't care about the story, you can skip, you know, skip ahead and see what the game is. But um, it's a very interesting story, I think at least. So, I was on eBay looking at the newly listed Buy It Now Nintendo stuff, and I came across a Zelda 2 cartridge and a Mario Bros. 3 cartridge. They were in two separate lots, and they were from the same seller. And I purchased the Zelda 2, and it was a Buy It Now of like 7 bucks plus a couple dollars shipping. And I can usually sell that for like 15 to 20 So, I figure, you know, it's a good enough deal. And... I bought I bought the Mario 3, but I didn't pay for that one yet. I paid for the Zelda, and I messaged the seller and asked if he would combine shipping so that I could, you know, get a, a decent deal on the Mario. And the Mario was, was $7 plus a couple dollars shipping as well, and he was nice enough to drop the price of Mario to $5 and gave me free shipping. So, made it a little, a little extra. And then he... He sent me a message and said he had more games that he was going to list, but he would send me he would send me a list of them if I wanted to check them out before he put them on eBay. And of course, I said yes, and he sent me the list like 10 minutes later, and I was looking through the list. There was a bunch of games. I started picking out the ones I wanted. Um, I ended up getting Mario Bros. Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, Mario Bros. 2, two copies of Mario Bros. 3, Dr. Mario. I got the Zelda 2 that I bought off eBay, and then also the first Zelda, there was Metroid, Punch-Out, uh, Pac-Man, um, a couple other games, there was like the, uh, the $20 Jetsons game, I don't remember what it's called, and a few others, and then there was a very rare game on the list, and, you know, I, how do I put this, I knew that he was at least giving good deals because of what he had priced the Zelda and the Mario at, so I wasn't afraid to ask how much, 
or to make an offer because I knew I'd be getting a good deal no matter what. So the account had zero feedback, which is kind of sketchy. You know, you don't want to usually buy from someone that has zero feedback, at least something like this, because, you know, there's a number of things that could go wrong. But I figured if I can get a good enough deal, it'll be worth it. And, you know, of course, I'll make a good amount of money off of it, which I desperately needed because I'm trying to go home for spring break and see my family. And because of this single game, I was able to do that. And that's what gave me all the extra money to buy all those games off eBay yesterday and the day before, which you'll probably see in the next video. But um, anyway, I picked out all the games I wanted. I made an offer of 120 for everything, plus, plus what I paid for Zelda and Mario, and then plus shipping. And they didn't try and haggle with me at all. They said, deal. And I know when I show you what it is, you're going to say that was a really low ball offer. And I agree it was. But it was on. It was through eBay. The seller had every chance to look up the games, and you know, haggle with me or tell me just file, tell me no, or give me what they wanted or anything like that. But they didn't. They didn't bother to, and they did message me after I got the game and asked if they could buy it back, and I told them no. And I was really nice about it. I didn't say like, ha ha, I ripped you off. Nothing like that. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a dick, but. Um, you know, I told them that I'm sorry, but they had every chance to look it up before selling it to me, and I've already sold it, so there's nothing I can do. But I basically paid about $20 for this, and I already sold it to a friend for $650. And that is a cartridge of the Flintstones Surprise at Dino Peak. There it is. It's got some, uh, some Sharpie on here back's really nice. When I got it, there were two stickers on the front. There was one here and one on the top. And there was a bunch of Sharpie on the back and on the back label. And um, I cleaned it up. I opened it, tested it, cleaned the inside, cleaned the outside. I switched the back with a Jungle Book game because it had the same label. And, um, you know, I, I've never spent that much time or effort cleaning a single game. But obviously it's worth it because it was in pretty... Pretty ugly shape when I got it, but it's a lot better now. I didn't bother getting the Sharpie off the front because um, my friend that I sold it to, which is the guy I got my Sculptor's Cut box from, he wanted he wants to do it himself. So, you know, obviously I'm going to let him do that. And, um, you know, like I said, it was an amazing deal. I, I do feel bad for the seller, but it's, you know, it's not my fault that they didn't look it up before agreeing to the price I offered. But, um... Yeah, it's not... Because of this game, I'm able to go home and see my family for spring break, which is the last time that I'm going to be able to go home before I graduate. So, it was very helpful to me, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, enjoyed hearing about it. Um, I did post it for sale on Nintendo Age. I didn't bother put it, putting it on eBay. I posted it on Nintendo Age, but I also told my friend I had it. Um, you guys probably remember Andrew... I got my Sculptor's Cut box from him. He was in the Sit Cooper and Non Toopers gaming adventure number four, I believe. He took uh, Kevin and I around to all the game stores, and then I bought my Sculptor's Cut box from him. And like I said, he's the one that bought it. And basically, we did 500 cash plus 150 trade, which we haven't even worked out yet. I'm hoping to get a Sculptor's Cut cartridge from him um, in lieu of that $150 trade, because I don't have a cartridge yet. And he has one, but, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, links in the description for Tiger Town Games and for LV Pepe 38 Please check them both out. You will not regret it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. My next video is going to be packed with eBay stuff. I, I probably bought, like, 50 or 60 auctions off of eBay. Um, tons of, tons of different stuff. Lots, everything is an addition to my collection, so... Definitely be on the lookout for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.